today I thought I would share some of my honeybee and lemon decor that I put up for spring and early summer. When I get back from the wedding next week, I am going to start putting up more 4th of July USA inspired items in the home and I'll for sure share them as well. But just sit back and enjoy and if this isn't your thing, I'll put a timestamp right here so you can continue to watch the rest of the vlog. Hey guys, it's Sunday, the day before Memorial Day, and we're meeting up with my mother-in-law and Christina, and we're just having some lunch at Grimaldi's, one of our favorite spots, and yeah, just to catch up with each other and have some yummy food right in the States. <laughs> this Grimaldi's right there as we're passing. Is this Northgate, right, baby? I believe it's called Northgate. Um, but yeah, I'll share what we have. I'm looking crazy for good reason. <laughs> Just got out of Pilates on Memorial Day and I'm so exhausted after that. That was good workout though. <laughs> it is Monday, Memorial Day. And first I just wanna start off saying that um, we are very blessed and lucky to have this day um, in memory of all those that have fallen and fought for our country for us to be here. Of course, we respect that and appreciate that so much. Um, but today we do get to be with our family for a little bit um, because of that. And we're going to be going over Brian and Haley's um, with my parents. And I'm wearing the shirt made in America. I love it. Um, I think I got this off of Pink Lily. Dot com and then my lipstick is from Maybelline, the Superstay Vinyl Ink um, in number 25, Red Hot. It has like a little bit more of like a brighter tone to it. So I did have a nude liner that I did first underneath to kind of tone it down a little bit. Um, so it does get even brighter than this, but I think it, I was trying to get it to be exactly the same tone as my shirt. Um, these are the earrings that I got from zimu.com. I have a little friend right here because 
the time of the month. <laughs> we all we all have it happen. Um, also, I did an IPL on my skin, which is like a laser treatment that helps to bring any pigment um, to the surface of your skin that starts to flake off. So you might, I have like one or two little dark, darker spots right now on my skin that are about to flake off. It's so cool. I'm trying to do laser treatments so I don't have to do serious, crazy lifts and stuff later in life. <laughs> so trying to do more like facials and stuff. Um, and I'll let you guys know when I do things. Um, so this week I did an IPL all over the face and I also did my chest area. So far, so good. All right, just wanted to give you a quick update, but I will show you a little bit of what we do when we're at Brian and Haley's and with the parents. We have this yummy concoction going on with some strawberry guava juice and Malibu. It's delish. We got some more food coming out too. Look at this macaroni salad, devil days, um, cowboy caviar, one of our favorites for summer. How lucky are we? We get free soft serve from Mr. Softy today. Our whole building does. Do you see the truck over here? There he is. Look how fluffy Holly is. She got a bath today. Chris gave her a bath. Look how pretty. very windy. So I feel like the luckiest girl right now, Pacifica, was way generous and sent me a super sweet thank you package. I recently spoke about these blushes and I absolutely love them. Seriously, they're fluffy, blushy, and I have this color already, so I'll definitely have to give this one to a friend. But this one I have yet to try in pink haze. It's more of like a berry tone. I cannot wait to try that. So pretty. And these are cream blushes. They blend out so pretty and they have like a little bit of a glow. But they also sent me one of these glow stick lip oils, which you guys know I've been obsessed with lip oils and like lips, like lip balm stains. So I can't wait to try that. They also sent these glow baby complex lip balms in two different shades. I also have the dream lit glow concealer that I will have to try out for you guys. See if it's going to be a contender for my vacation, maybe. Get a little glowy under the eyes. I've heard great things about their neutralizing um, mattifier, this translucent powder, and it does come in a few different shades, I believe. I'm not sure which. Yeah, this one's in shade one because I'm super fair. That still looks a little dark, but we'll see. It's not supposed to have really too much pigment, um, just mattify. And then all of this is skincare. Some of these I've tried before and some I have not. So the Vegan Collagen Recovery Eye Cream and then the Vegan Collagen Everyday Lotion. Um, this I'm very curious about. I'm going to try this out tomorrow for you guys because um, I'm out of my other SPF and I almost repurchased today on Amazon, but I'm going to try this one out first. And then I love this concept, set and protect, match your setting mist with vitamin C and C minerals and SPF 45. So really great way to refresh your SPF. If you just spritz yourself with this, refresh your makeup and your SPF. I hope this works because <laughs> that's an awesome concept. We've got some of their C Love Line products and then a few of their under eye masks to different varieties, which are my favorite masks, masks to use, to be honest, because that is where I need the most help is my under eyes sometimes. All right. I will definitely let you guys know once I start using this.
Um, oh. Don't pay attention to my nails. They're so bad. <laughs> I'm going later this week. But anyway, look how gorgeous this packaging is. So pretty. A plus on the packaging. Good morning. It's Thursday. Um, these headbands are so comfortable, by the way. Um, I got this in a package once, but I know they have them on Amazon. They're kind of like a towel fabric, but I love using them to do my makeup in the morning because they wash off really easy. Anyways, I tried out a lot of the new Pacifica products that I got in the mail and I really love them already. I'm so excited. Um, nothing excites me more than when I try new products and they work really well. Um, because then I get excited to share them with you guys. It's so sad when products are a bummer and I have to share negative, you know, stuff. Anyways, we'll see how this wears. It's definitely glowier than my other SPF. This is the Vegan Collagen Everyday Lotion from Pacifica with SPF 30. It went on really well, though. It blended into my skin really easy, and that's a big factor for me with SPFs um, because they tend to, some, some of them tug at my skin or take a really long time to blend in. This did not, and I don't think it's going to create a white cast. We'll see. I'll try it out later in... Um, the natural light. And these concealers are definitely the top favorite of today. Oh no, actually I think the lip product is. I have two. Um, these concealers are the Dreamlight Glow Concealers and I'm in shade 9 and 11. I did the lighter one in the first half and then the darker one on my cheeks and such. I didn't use foundation today so I only used this for the coverage on my face and so far so good. I think it is really glowy and pretty. We'll see how it looks in photos. This might be a contender to bring for my sister's wedding next weekend. And then this is my number one fave. I love these. I can't believe no one's talking about these yet. These are called Dreamy Youth Complex Lip Balms. I have the shade, oh, I don't know. It doesn't say it on here, but this really pretty berry shade is the one I have on. And then this one I tried on yesterday and it's a really pretty coral. They do have like kind of a fruity smell and taste to them. Um, these are vegan though, so they're a natural cruelty-free product too. And it just gives the most beautiful glow to your lips. Look at that. And I'm talking about just as good as the lip oils that I got from Dior that are like 40 bucks. I know that Pacifica is not going to be 40 and they always have really good deals um, at Target and such. So these are my new favorite lip oil product. Definitely find one if you like fruity lip balms that are nice and shiny like this. Having black beans and rice with turkey meat tonight. It's very bright. I'm driving into my community right now, but just left Pilates and I feel really good because I really didn't want to today, but I still got out of bed at 5.30 and went, and I'm so glad I did. Someone's not happy because she has to get some vaccines today. We're at the vet. The sun is setting, so I don't have much light remaining, but just wanted to tell you guys we're going on date night. Hey guys. He's driving. But Chris set it up. We're going to Abuelo's Mexican food, which is our favorite. You guys know it's one of our favorite spots. We actually have a gift card. It's our day. We're trying to like, you know, take it easy this weekend because next week we're going to have so much fun while we're out of town. And my mom's going to be taking care of the house and the pups for us, which is awesome. show you my nails in the shade first so you can kind of see it has a kind of opalescence to it okay i'll show you in the sun now in the sun it doesn't come off as light pink it's like a light really pale pale pink with the iridescence over it like the opalescent glitter stuff on the top i do really like how it turned out i just hate that i can't get it to show exactly how it is in person for you guys but i think you get the idea 
Chipotle for dinner tonight. We didn't feel like cooking, and this is the healthiest option pretty much in our area for a quick meal. I usually get the salad, or you can call it a burrito bowl too. I just have them do the lettuce on bottom. They did a little on top for me too. And then I do the mild salsa. This time I did steak. Sometimes I'll just do the veggies. Um, and I do, I do still put a little bit of white rice and then black beans. And I do walk on the side because Chris and I usually share and put a little bit on top. And they gave us free chips today. We did not ask for those, but not upset by it either. So I started to pack a little bit. Just trying to prepare ahead of time a, a little bit because it's we're leaving midweek. We still have to go to work, so I have to do laundry and get stuff ready. I've got our my dresses over here hanging in the bag there. I'll actually insert pictures right here of the two dresses that I'm bringing with me for like the rehearsal dinner and such events that we're doing for the wedding. But I'm so excited. Can't wait to share that with you guys in about a week and a half here because we will be gone for next Sunday's vlog. Mm -hmm.